What's going on you guys and welcome to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Today we are going to be talking about a before and after transformation of my 2007 black GT Mustang. Now it is pretty much not even the same car anymore, like not even the same motor, like body panels, everything like that. Everything's pretty much modified. Before we go ahead and get started, it was completely stock when I bought the car. The only thing that was done to it was that it had GT40 wheels and it had the stock rims, but I went ahead and got rid of the stock rims, left the GT40 rims on there and it had Borla Stinger's axle back. And there's a clip right when I got the car that I'll go ahead and throw up right here. So as you guys can see, I still had the three valve, four list stingers, it was just the axle backs. It sounded pretty good. I was freaking out when I first got the car and it was so, so cool. It was about three years ago when I got the Mustang. And from there, after that, my next mod, I believe, was an off-road X-Pipe. And then it made it even louder and it sounded so, so good. And then from there, then I got Course Extremes and got the cold air intake JLT Series 3, blah, blah, put the cams in, blew up. Now I have the Coyote Swap Mustang. And then after that, I boosted it and it is where it is today. It's a long, long list of what I've done to the car and I'll go over all of it right here for you guys because I wanted to show you what it, the car looked like before and what it looks like today. So I went ahead and showed you guys the startup video of when I started the car up for the very first time when I got the car. That's pretty much what it looked like. It was completely stock as far as the exterior and everything. There was nothing done to the exterior. No spoiler, no chin spoiler, nothing. And now, this is what it looks like. So we'll get a better view. I'm gonna go ahead and take the car over to a roundabout talk about it more that way I can pull the car out get a better angle of the car so I can show you guys what's all done to it and show you guys what I've done to it when it was completely stock to completely completely modified so let's go ahead and start the car up over here I went ahead and I also put in the upper grill we're still waiting for the lower one as far as for this video I wanted that to be on so I can show you literally everything that I've done to the car without further ado let's start with the exterior and we'll start in the front work our way all the way to the back and then we'll go in the suspension so like I said before it, the car was completely completely stock and I'll throw up another photo right here now it looks like this do a quick walk around All right, so we'll go ahead and start with the front. So for the front bumper, we have the Eleanor style front bumper. We got that painted. Um, it is super, super low to the ground. Um, I'd say I'm like two to three inches above the ground. It's super low. Once I get like a suspension that's like either coilovers or bags, I'll either raise the front just a little bit and lower the back. But this is where we're at right now. I'm on iBox Sport Lines. Uh, that's for the suspension. But we'll go ahead and continue with the front. So we have the bullet style front grille. And I also added the coyote emblem in the front. And I'll show you why in just a second when I open up that hood. And on top, the hood is a GT4 true fiber hood. So that's not stock either. The headlights are 2010 style headlights. As you guys can clearly see, we have an entire wide body kit on the Mustang. This is from Shirokai. So this is the front bumper extension, the fenders, the side skirts and the rear fender. It does come with a spoiler and it does come with a front lip as well, but we have a spoiler and we don't have the GT stock front bumper. That takes care of all of that. 
I am going to either paint the mirrors black or get uh, like 11 of 14 style mirrors and switch them out. So that's still something I'd like to do as far as the exterior, but I think everything else looks good. As far as the wheels, we have the Forge Star F14's deep concave wheels. Super nice. These are 20 by 10 and a halfs in the front with 275, 35 by 20 tires. And in the back, we have 20 by 12s with 335s by 30 by 20s Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires. And as we work our way to the back, we have the MMD ducktail spoiler on the back. We have the Anvil Wicker Bill, which is for Camaro, but I made it work like I lined up if this would work and it fit perfectly. We have the Gen 5 taillights. We have the True Fiber Carbon Fiber deck lid with the Coyote emblem right in the middle. We have full Corsa exhaust. So we have BBK long tubes, BBK X-pipe, Corsa extremes cat back. And what I did was I got the 15 to 17 exhaust tips and I welded them on. I still have to fix that side being a little lazy right now. We've got that. We have the GT500 rear bumper which we shaved a little bit out for the quad tips. And as we work our way on the other side, it's completely the same as far as the other side, except we do have an antenna. I think that pretty much wraps up the entire exterior. I mean, little things as such as window tit, uh, the windshield banner, that's pretty much what wraps exterior out. Let's go ahead and open the hood and let's talk about the engine. All right. So, we have a Coyote swap. What's well, originally in this chassis, in the GT Mustang, is a three valve. And what happened was, was I had cams in mine, and what happened was the cam phaser shifted a little bit, and it completely destroyed the left bank. I'll put up a video right here of what happened. It was completely destroyed. I was running on four cylinders, the, the whole motor was trashed, like there was metal shards everywhere. We did a Coyote swap, fit perfectly, we could reuse the motor mounts, plug and play harness. Uh, the only thing that you have to do is get like a custom brackets and everything from Power by the Hour. That'll help with the relocation of the alternator, which will go from over there to bring it over here. And so we also, if you guys can see, we are boosted as well. This is a P1 Pro Charger, we're running about 11 pounds of boost. We have the 1819 intake manifold. Oh, and one thing I forgot too is that this is a 2013 Coyote motor from an F-150. We got the two breathers. We have a return style fuel system and we have D-Shorks 1200 injectors. I don't know if you guys can see down there, but we got the long tube headers, ceramic coated, and we got the intercooler for the Pro Charger right there. One thing too is that I got a Tile Q50 blow off valve. <laughs> and that thing screams. That pretty much wraps up the entire motor. I do have cams for it, comp cam stage threes, that'll wake this thing up because this engine is from a truck motor and the only things that's different from truck from a Mustang is that the intake cams are a little bit different and the compression ratio is a, a tad bit different. It's like 0.5 lower on this one, which is even better for boost. But um, when I put the comp cam stage threes in here, it'll be night and day on this motor, especially with that Pro Charger, it loves RPM. So do those cams. These cams don't like RPM. So with that being said, it'll be monstrous when I put those cams in. All right, let's work our way into the interior. So as we go into the interior, you can clearly see the first thing is that we have a carbon fiber steering wheel. So it's like carbon fiber up here, and then we have the leather right here. Still have to change out that emblem, probably to like a coyote emblem or something. We have the speed of sound gauges right here. We have a Kenwood stereo system right there and the two-tone color that we got from the mustang is like an ash gray and black so that being said i got custom seats that are also ash gray and black right in the middle to match the interior of the mustang pretty much all that's done to the interior i would still like to convert the door panels to 1314 and do little things in the interior as well that pretty much wraps up everything that's done to the car now keep in mind Nothing was done in the interior or exterior or motor. All of that was completely modified. The only thing that's still the same on this car, that door, the roof door is the same, but that's pretty much it. Everything else on this car is completely different. Some future things I'd like to throw in 
is that lower grill. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a splitter underneath it. So it's still far from done. We still got to put the hood pins in right there. Uh, we got to paint the mirrors as I said. We still have to paint the wide body kit obviously. That's going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope this inspires you to build your car. Whatever car you like, just don't see it as stock. See it, what you can build it to make it look like and just go from there. Because I'm going to tell you a lot of car stock don't look good but once you modify them they look so so good you just have to see the vision and just go for it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure to smash like button if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel make sure the button down below like always guys have a great day peace